Welcome. This is your party. Okay, you are truly the hostess with the mostest. I want to know, for someone throwing their first holiday party this year, what are some tips you have? To start, well, Christmas is my favorite time of year. I will take the title, and I am called the Queen the Christmas Mrs. Claus. I had a store for 10 years, and every holiday, we I had like 15 trees on display. So you could chop off the Lucille Ball tree, the Mick Jagger tree, and they were all tailored to different celebrities, which was a lot of fun and exciting. And um, so I've always had a love for Christmas. I have beautiful trees. I hope you get to go inside and see them. I'm excited. I hear it's amazing. And a lot of things I make. I make a lot of the wreaths myself all year long, all vintage. I buy everything like on Pinterest or eBay. So you're going to see one of a kind trees, little miniature. And and uh, wreaths as well. You did it all. You absolutely did it all. And who are you most excited to hang out with tonight? Maybe to hit the dance floor, get a little tipsy with? Well, honestly, my sisters. I'm excited to be with my sisters. And the band is back together and I love it. The band is back and we're stronger. We're going on tour. I love that. And you also just celebrated 44 years with Rick. That's amazing. Happy anniversary. I need to know, what is the secret to your success? Well, we met at a very young age, and I think that moving to New York and starting out on our own without influences of friends that we grew up with or even family kind of getting in the middle, um, working for everything, our parents were like, you're doing this, you're on your own. So like every little bit of furniture, uh, the coffee table, the little dinette, everything. Um, we did everything together like that. And um, not taking one another for granted. And I would always say keeping the right friends, good influences. Happy couples. If you see that the guy is not somebody that you want your boyfriend or your girlfriend, you know, whatever, keep him away. Just to, and to be grateful and to keep that spice and excitement. I love that. Keep it spicy. Keep it spicy and you always have to keep a little something for yourself. I love that. Yes, mystery. A little mystery. A little mystery. Okay, real quick, let's play a little rapid fire between you and your two sisters, most likely to. So most likely to spill all the tea on one of these carpets. Uh, Kim. Most likely to plan the best girls trip. Oh, thank you. Me. Most likely to give the best Secret Santa gift. Um, maybe Kim or Kyle. They both. A tie. And most likely to make the naughty list this year. Of the three of us? Uh, you know, I think we're pretty good. Okay, so most likely to make the nice list, everyone? I think we're all good. I love it. And real quick, let's give a little holiday message to the camera. What would you say for your happy holidays message this year to the I would say that... Well, tonight we're celebrating Direct TV, and we are doing a um, toy fun for, and yeah, we're doing a fundraiser tonight, bringing a toy to uh, all the children at the Ronald McDonald House, and it's something that they are very passionate about, and my, my daughters and my sons and I, we have been involved with them for years, so I think having a good time and then thinking about others that are less fortunate, We've got Toys for Tots next week at another party here. Okay. And then we are doing one for the uh, Union Rescue Mission, which I'm very involved with, and my children and my husband. That's amazing. It's an amazing message. Have a great time tonight. Back, and you're going to feel good. That's a gift in itself. I love gifting. Giving back is the best thing you can do. It really brings a different sort of spark to you. Right? Yeah. Have the best time tonight. Thank, Thank you so much you so for speaking much. with me.